Time now for Inside Out as we're joined by SNY NBA insider Ian Begley. And Ian, the Knicks calling card has been defense, but it was nowhere to be found in that third quarter. So what was the most glaring issue to you with the Knicks in that disastrous third? Well, getting out to shooters, first of all, Amen, that hurt them all night and hurt them in particular in that third quarter. But then they tried to claw back by bringing in Emmanuel quickly and Derek Rose and Alec Burks, and those guys just couldn't find it tonight off the bench. Tom Thibodeau, you know, thought he could go to that unit that played so well for them all year. They just didn't have it, and Orlando started to separate itself after those guys subbed in in the third. Ian, the Knicks lost the battle on the boards as Nikola Vucevic had 16 rebounds to go along with 16 points. So how much of a factor in this loss was Mitchell Robinson's absence? It was significant, and it's going to be significant until he comes back because he's so good around the rim. But by and large, the, the Knicks did well against Vucevic because he's such a talented player. He really could have gone off on Nerland's Noel, Taj Gibson. The issue tonight to me was more so missing that scoring off the bench. Quickly and Rose were, were not on. They really struggled from the floor. And then just getting out to defend the perimeter because Orlando got hot, Terrence Ross got hot, and they couldn't cool him off all night. So what had been that calling card for the Knicks, defense uh, defending the perimeter, really wasn't there tonight for Tom Thibodeau's club. A lost opportunity is they can't get to 500. No game Saturday against the Spurs, so the Knicks are off until Sunday when they host the Timberwolves. Ian Begley, thanks for joining us here on Geico Sports Night.